Hello everyone. Today I wanted, it's kind of a late um, uh, wrap up of what I read in December. So all together in 2018, I think I said in another video, I read about 110 books. So either physical books, audiobooks. So um, very pleased with that. Hopefully I can keep the trend up for this year. Um, so here are the books that I read in uh, December. So here's some of the audiobook ones. I didn't have a picture. So one, The Couple Next Door by Sarah LaPena. Um, this is a thriller about um, a disappearance. And it was really, really good. Um, the last couple thrillers I'd read where I've been like, okay. Um, but this one, I could not guess the ending. It was really well written and you actually feel for the characters. So I, I really like that. So uh, the couple next door. Uh, the next one was um, ah! Agatha Christie and then there were none. So I have read a lot of Agatha Christie and one of the ones that I have not read was and then there were none. And it was on um, the Great American Read uh, list of books. And I read it. It was okay. I definitely like her Miss Marple and Hercule Poirot books better. Um, but it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a good read. It's a story about these ten people who get invited to an island and they all start dying. So it was a little bit different than I think I remember the movie. Or maybe I'm remembering a different movie. Um... So I didn't quite expect the ending, but um, yeah, so Agatha Christie's, um, and then there were none. So I, two, two, two thrillers. And then I read, um, let's see, Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Uh, I've been reading uh, a few of Sarah Dessen's books uh, before, uh, a couple months ago, and uh, finally just uh, read this one. I definitely like her books. They're cute, romantic. This is about a girl whose parents have divorced, and she goes and lives with her dad uh, for a while, and it's just the people she meets around the town and what she does. Um, it, it was a good uh, uh, contemporary uh, read. So Sarah Dessen's Along for the Ride. Uh, another one I read was Miss Melissa Della Cruz's 29 Dates. I've been in a very contemporary mood lately. Um, so this is a girl. Um, her family want her to marry an Asian guy. So they set her up on these uh, series of dates. Um, and it's like, what happens after that? And she's kind of like coming into herself and like, trying to figure out what she wants out of life, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I ha I read some short stories by Melissa De La Cruz, but not a long one, so this one was pretty good. Uh, another one which is kind of in the same vein is American Panda by Gloria Chow, and same premise, a uh, girl, uh, parents want her to marry an Asian boy. She's at school and she starts falling for this Japanese boy. Um, but her parents want her to marry someone else and, or to get involved with someone else. And it's just her, what happens, um, and they send her to a new school and just the people she meets at the school and, uh, what happens. I definitely, it, it was a lot like 29 Dates and I think I like 29 Dates better, but this was still, uh, pretty good. Uh, the next one was uh, Christina Lauren, my favorite Half Night Stan. Um, I like uh, Christina Lauren's books, and um, this one was uh, was really cute. I still really liked her um, Roomies and uh, Josh and Hazel's uh, Guide to Not Dating book the best, uh, but this one was really good. And if you're looking for like a quick read, quick romantic. Uh, uh, Contemporary book, uh, these ones are good. I also read Ostentatious by Alyssa Goodnight. I got this book because it was about a girl who finds an old journal 
and it's Jane Austen writing her notes, like, kind of supernatural, and, like, Jane Austen helps her with her love life, and it didn't really go the way I thought it would be. The characters are definitely people I would not see Austen, like, writing about. Um, it was still okay, but just maybe the characters were written a little differently than I thought they would be. So it wasn't as, um, as Jane Austen-y as I thought it would be. So those are some of the ones that I did audio. I also did The Duology, A Crown's Game and A Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. Uh, this is a duology that I had wanted to read a while ago. It's kind of like fantasy meets um, Imperial Russia. Um, I really liked the first book, and I liked maybe two-thirds of the second book. But then the book takes a twist that I didn't really like, so then it kind of like made the series kind of go down for me. Uh, this is maybe just like a personal preference, but, um, yeah, so the ending was kind of eh for me, but it was, uh, if you want a good uh, fantasy read, uh, these are some good ones. Um, it's about two magicians, and they're battling it out in, in, uh, in Russia. Another kind of fantasy one is Org Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. She wrote Ella Enchanted. This is a middle grade book and um, it was cute. Uh, the first maybe fourth of it or third of it was a little slow but after the first third after um, fourth it gets uh, faster paced and it was uh, pretty interesting and fun to, fun to read. Um, it's about a girl, and she, uh, uh, the fairy turns her into an orc because she refused a marriage proposal. So she has to go through these, go through the towns and stuff as an orc, and even though she's kind of like a doctor. And uh, it's just like what happens and how the kingdoms react to her and the people she meets. So it was pretty good. So, orc enchanted. Another one I did was Marie Lou Wild Card. It's time for a rematch. Uh, I read the first book in this duology uh, last year. It was pretty good. And um, the sequel was okay. It wasn't um, as gripping as the first one. Um, it didn't quite go in the directions I thought it would go. And it, for me... It took kind of like a weird direction at the end, um, but that being said, it's still very adventurous. Um, this is kind of like, you know, high-tech world where people can go into video games, and it continues the story of Amika and Hideo, and um, if you read the first one, you probably want to read the second one just to see how the story ends. So, there's that one. Um, and then I read... Arrowwood by Mick Finley. Uh, this, I got, I won this book off of Goodreads, and this is a story of, it says, London society takes its problems to Sherlock Holmes. Everyone else goes to Arrowwood. Um, this is, uh, it was a pretty good book. Uh, I like kind of the character, kind of his rivalry with Sherlock Holmes. Uh, Sherlock Holmes is not mentioned a lot, but he's still, it's still kind of, you see a lot of parallels in, um, the, the Arrowwood world, uh, to the Sherlock Holmes world. Um, the, the mystery was kind of a little confusing because there was a lot of names, but, uh, once you kind of got the names correctly, then it's like, oh, okay, I get where the mystery's going. And that was, uh, pretty good. Um, so I actually got an arc of the second book, so I think I do want to read that one because uh, it seems kind of fun. Uh, the last two are kind of biographies that I read. Uh, one, Cleopatra by Stacey Schaaf. It's the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, so this book took me a very, 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 very long time to read. And um, 
it's very hard, I think, to write um, good history, good biographies. A, a lot of times writers kind of make them dry, and there was definitely parts in this book that I felt were a little bit more drier. Um, I did learn a lot about Cleopatra, especially at, like, um, with Mark Anthony and her growing up. Um, but I did have to skim a lot of parts going, okay, it's going into the commerce of Egypt at the time. It's kind of long-winded, but um, uh, overall it was pretty good. Uh, I did like that I did learn a lot about Cleopatra in here, and uh, the cover's very nice. So, but, so if you want a, a biography on Cleopatra, this is a Pulitzer Prize winner, so you, you might enjoy it. Um, yeah. Um, the last one I read was Mary Poppins Who Wrote, The Life of P.L. Travers. Um, so the movie Mary Poppins is coming out. I enjoy Mary Poppins. I did a review of the books, and then I did a review of this book, um, because I wanted to find out more about the author. So if you want a more in-depth, um, view of the book, you can check out that video. Um, it's very, it was very good. I like that she's very concise in her storytelling with, uh, P.L. Travers. And, like, she divided her life into three sections, and then you can kind of see just how things were, um, just placed. And it was very organized, so I really like that. And then the physical book has, like, pictures and stuff. So, um, if you want to find out more about the, the life of Peel Travers, this is a pretty good book. Oh, okay, so those are the books that I read in December. Um, kind of a, a late review. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy uh, this video. Uh, what are some of the books that you read last month? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.